hi guys welcome to my channel today i want to introduce a new series we are going to start learning about transcription anything you need to know about transcription if you want to become a transcriptionist yes and uh, you want to know what do do they do how do you start what do you need to learn and everything inside that course or that skill so stay tuned and let's start the class Let's get started. Uh -huh. Transcription course by Bahati Empress. So what are you going to learn in this training? You're going to understand the basics of general transcription and understand what transcription is and what it's not. Analyze the careers and business opportunities available in transcription. Know how to use Express Tribe. Know how to download audios and videos and how to transcribe it. Proof it. Decide if transcription is the right career for you. And then you're going to demonstrate knowledge of transcripts formats and types of transcriptions so what are the requirements you need to have a good grasp of english grammar but don't worry i'm going to show you how to use grammarly uh, your typing speed should be at least 60 words per minute so i'm going to share some links where you can go and test your speed and uh, good listening skills because transcription is all about listening and typing ability to follow instructions well and uh, if you yeah, let's say you know how to use a usb foot pedal uh, and then you need to have headphones and a word processing program such as microsoft word okay so who is this course for it's for anyone who wants to earn money online or from home from doing general transcription either part-time or full-time, stay-at-home people looking for supplement income, uh, someone wanting to start an at-home business with very little upfront costs and a good return on investment, someone who wants to start a side hustle basically, or even a full-time hustle. So uh, after completing the course, uh, who are you going to work with? So if you're a full-time transcriptionist, you're, you're going to do uh, transcribing interviews, uh, podcasts, lectures conference calls seminars court proceedings and many more so we are going to look at that so a course overview uh, we are going to look at the introduction to transcription how to transcribe audios and videos transcript formats and types types of transcriptions uh, transcription tools and softwares using excel express scribe editing and proofreading transcripts and transcription tests and jobs so before we start be ready uh, for this course. So let me introduce you. What is transcription basically? So this often refers to the process of converting speech from an audio or video uh, into text. Okay. So transcription entails more than just listening to recordings. The content must be understood and nothing should be omitted. So we are going to look at that. So for you who is going to do the transcription, you are a transcriber or a transcriptionist. Okay. So let's look at some of the terms that are usually used in transcription. We have transcript, as I've told you. Transcript refers to the written or printed version of material originally presented in another medium. So transcript and then ready client transcript. That is a transcript that is over 95% correct. It does not uh, require editing when it requires very minimal editing. Turnaround time is the time that you use to submit your work or your transcript back to the client. Per audio hour, it's the amount of money you get paid for transcribing one hour video. Okay, those are some of the terms you're going to meet in transcription. So let's look at some of the rules and guidelines in transcription. Number one, accuracy, 100%. Like only type the words that are spoken in the audio file. You don't, you never uh, add or omit any words. So, the phrases you, or words you don't understand should not be omitted. Instead, they should be tagged appro appropriately according to the company's guidelines. Uh, you know how to use the US English. Uh, do not paraphrase. Yes, you don't paraphrase this work. You need to write exactly as the, uh, as the speaker is talking, uh, whatever the speaker is saying, and then you don't have, add additional information. So uh, some of the skills that you will need to start as a transcriptionist is you need to be an active listener like the ability to focus on a speaker and hear everything they say okay because uh once you're transcribing audios or videos 
uh, you need to listen carefully in order to transcribe a conversation accurately. Your typing skills. As I've told you, you need to have your typing speed should be 60 um, words per minute. So uh, you're going to look that. You can go to sites like uh, TypeRacer or TypeMaster to help uh, in checking your typing speed and also improve your typing speed. I'm going to attach the links in the description box. Also, your communication skills need to be like at par um, because you need to be an excellent communicator. Uh, it, it will help you anticipate speeches and help with the speed and accuracy when you're transcribing. Okay, your grammar should be good. I've, show, I'll, I've told you I'll show you how to use Grammarly in transcription, punctuation and spelling proficiencies. Okay, so uh, computer skills, you need to be computer literate. So if you're not computer literate, transcription might not be the skill for you. And uh, you need to be able to open documents, do some research, use some social media platforms, know how to use Microsoft Office and emails. Uh, multitasking, you should be able to multitask, like uh, at the same time you're transcribing, you're typing, you're listening, you're researching, all those things. You need to be a multitasker as a transcriptionist. Time management, 100%. Uh, so, this is the ability to plan and organize your tasks in order to complete them in a suitable amount of time. So, you should never be late when you're submitting your transcripts. Okay? So, you need to be very good in your speed. Uh, so, yeah, you need to practice on your words per minute. Okay? You need to be attentive to detail such that you can, like, listen to everything that this speaker says. There is no room for errors for you when you're transcribing. So you should accurately grasp the discussions despite audio difficulties, such as background noise, noise, crosstalks, or soft voices. You need to be very attentive to detail. Flexible. You need to be flexible as a transcriptionist because uh, you may have some technical issues and have difficulties keeping up with the audios you're transcribing. So you need to be flexible such that you can troubleshoot and resolve your issues in time. Research. You should be very good in doing research. Uh, in case you hear something and you don't understand how it's written, you need to know how to write uh, or how to do your research. Okay, so what are some of the essential tools required by transcribers? Number one, a good computer. What do we mean when we say a good computer? It can be a laptop or a desktop. Okay, so uh, your laptop should have a fast processor that could handling, handle multitasking. Uh, and then you need to have a fast internet connection, like uh, you need to check your internet connection speed. Uh, it should be very fast. Uh, noise cancellation headphones, yeah. And um, you also need to know how to use Microsoft Word if you're using Windows or Pages if you're using Mac, MacBook. And uh, you need to have some transcription software. Uh, uh, it is not enough to use an audio or media player. So uh, you need to have uh, some softwares like Expresscribe, the FTW Transcriber, Inscribe, uh, Ugsub, uh, Transcriber Pro, Gear Player 4. But in this lesson, uh, in this class, we are going to look at how to use Expresscribe because it's the one that's mostly used. Okay, so some of them are not free, but Expresscribe, we can use it for free. Aha! Uh -huh. Uh, you need to know also know how to use some transcription automated software. Those are some AI tools, AI algorithms that can help you transcribe your videos or audios. But they are not usually 100% correct. So you also need to like uh, check on the audios that they have transcribed and check if the write-up is accurate. So some are uh, Trint, Otter, Rev, Sonic, Vol Vocalmatic, and Temi. You can go and do research on them. So uh, as a transcriber, you also need to know how to use the text expanders because sometimes you're using um, the same sentences, the same paragraphs. So you need to have like a text expander such that once you click on uh, something, once you click on a word, like it's easier for it to just pop out instead of typing all of it like this one. Uh, once you just write in one, it just brings out the whole sentence. So some of the text expanders are magical, brevy, phrase express, Auto Hotkey, Auto Text Expander, and FastFox. Fast Fox. You can go and do more research on that. Uh -huh. You need to have a comfortable chair because you'll be sitting a lot. You'll be sitting a lot. So make sure that your chair is comfortable. So for some companies, they will require you to have a foot pedal. So um, 
if you don't have uh, but some don't really require you to have a foot pedal basically so if the company requires you to have a foot pedal it's just something to assist you in controlling your audio playbacks using your toes because you know your hands are busy typing so you don't have to use the mouse or the keyboard to rewind uh, or forward okay for now i want us to look at some of these ai tools that you can use uh, in transcribing that can that can assist you in uh, transcribing so all you need to know is there some of them are not free so you have to check which one is free and which one you can use for now i want to show you how to use otter ai dot ai so all you do is sign up with your gmail or any other email that you have and then after signing up all you need is you need to come here to import that is if you have an audio already in your laptop so you click import and then you browse mm -hmm. let me upload an audio like this one so you wait for it to upload and then after uploading it will start transcribing it automatically so wait for it to transcribe uh, just a minute so guys as i was telling you some of these are uh, transcription uh, ai tools for assisting you with transcription some are not free so all those that i've listed there go and identify which one you can start working with also you can use some free versions of some of these uh, ai tools as a transcriptionist and as i've told you some of them are not a hundred percent correct so you'll need to still go back listen to the audio uh, i'm going to show you like uh, when you're using otter.ai how you can do that so we wait for it to finish transcribing and it's done so after it's done here you click on go to the transcript as you remember i've told you what the transcript is is the transcript is the paper that you've written Okay, so I start, I just click here from 4 to listen to the audio. For many people, the word asteroid is synonymous with destruction. It brings to mind the extinction of the dinosaurs or images from disaster movies of shattering buildings and cartwheeling cars. But large asteroid impacts are exceedingly rare. And as it turns out, there are actually things we can do now to lower the chance that someday one may harm us. The idea that an asteroid impact can be prepared for, like one might prepare for okay so you have seen it's taking the audio as uh you are listening to the audio as uh, the transcript is still playing so all you need to know is to identify if they are let's say they have uh, transcribed a word and it's not supposed to be written like that so you edit it but if your transcript is okay you just copy and paste where you're going to finish your work so that is how these ai tools work and they have assisted a lot of transcriptionists in doing these things like you don't have to keep on listening and uh, trying to think well what am i going to do this well how am i going to do that but if you're doing live transcriptionists like for example myself when i was doing transcription i was doing live transcriptions so i could not use these ai tools to assist me so but if you're not doing live transcriptions you just have an audio the client has sent you an audio for you to transcribe it's used for you to use it's good for you to use some of these ai tools to generate for you the transcripts but always make sure that you really listen to the audios look at the transcript generated by the ai tools and make sure that they are okay and they are a hundred percent so i hope you've understood the next thing i want to show you guys is how to use some of these text expanders uh, and i want to focus on magical so what you do you go to google search for magical text expander and then you click on the first one this is the magical text expander and then as it opens it's like an extension to chrome so you add to chrome so we wait for it to install and uh, add its extension to chrome so uh, from here you click on add to chrome and then it can uh, add extension so we wait for it to download and install and add itself there in the magical expander so after it has downloaded you come here to the extensions to the extensions and make sure you have clicked magical you have pinned it like you see i've pinned my grammarly so i can see it here so also your magical click on the pinning the pin here so you can pin it and it's usually it usually comes here you can always use it so because i've actually opened a new chrome to make sure that uh, a new tab to make sure that i'm showing you from start how to uh, install it so you get started you sign in you sign up that is uh, using the magical you use you can use your google your gmail or any other account you want to use and then 
wait for it to sign in let me just skip skip because i just want to use uh what's your role in your company you can write look for any other even if it's administrative continue are you a team manager you can say yes or no uh, actually depends on which tasks can magical help you with so select on all these oh not that i not the thing so messaging let's stick to messaging and then you try it your shortcuts so like for example this is how the shortcuts usually look like so if you want if you wanted to write a sentence like hey wanted to wish you happy birthday hope you have a good one so if you search if you write dash hbd it brings you this one so like for example here i, I write search search hbd it brings automatically you can see so you will not always need if you keep on sending a message like that looks like this one you will not always need to write it down you can just write some shortcuts and then it just pops out so let's try to create our our own shortcuts like for example uh let's say no let me discard this one so the, here under trigger is where you write your shortcut so let's say for example you want to write hi my name is bahati empress so i want i'll just put a shortcut like uh be bahati empress so once i come here and write so i want every time i write be it rings like hi my name is bahati empress But because I don't want to keep on writing this, hi, my name is Bahati Embrace, I just want to use the shortcuts, I click on save. So every time I try to search for BE, it will always be writing, hi, my name is Bahati Empress. Okay? So I come here and write BE. You see automatically it's right hi my name is Bahati Empress. You've seen? So let's continue. What else can we do? okay so let's say this is a sentence that i often use uh when when i'm writing you need transcription software where you can rewind and forward to specific sections of the audio file so i can use a shortcut like transcription software ts and then i save it you can write ts1 and then you save it so once you're, you're trying it here once i come and write ts1 it will be it will always come uh, like this automatically so every time you're using uh, Google Chrome and uh, let's say it's a subs uh, it's a transcription website like go transcript or any other website as long as you're using the Google Chrome we have where you have downloaded magical you have added the extension here once you use the shortcut it will always uh, bring you like if you write ts1 it will bring you this write up if i write be it will bring you the shortcut i'd written about that so i hope you've understood about that you can also go and practice in your laptop and use any other um uh text expanders but for me i usually like using magical so okay we are going to continue with the lesson in uh, the next class because uh this a video has become long at least we cut it here but in the in after two days i will put in the next lesson so if you want to know how to become a transcriptionist what transcription entails what you need to do and where do you start what do you learn inside it anything everything about that skill so be prepared for the next two three weeks we are going to learn about it so don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification button, don't forget to comment, like, share with your friends and let's start the class.